what's up um i wanted to record a quick vlog um i'm gonna i'm waiting at the airport right now and uh, i'm a bit early because anastasia told me i should come early so now my flight is departing i think three hours so check-in hasn't even started yet so i have some time um but i wanted to share especially a podcast which i listened to yesterday um on the drive to berlin and i have a new pod favorite podcast I think it's called Conan O'Brien Needs a Friend or Wants a Friend or something like that. And it's hosted by Conan O'Brien. And um, he basically has around like one hour conversations with with friends of his, but mostly like people I guess that he met before and then he has like spent time throughout his career, but never really, you know, established a friendship with in the like show business. And um, they're really fascinating because one, Conan O'Brien is just funny. I mean, to me, he's funny, really funny. And he has other, other really funny people on there. I mean, like Ben Stiller and, um, and Jimmy Kimmel and a bunch of other comedians. So, but they're not trying to be funny. Like, it's not a skit, you know, because most of the things that he puts out are, you know, comedy. So it's with the purpose of it making you laugh. They're, they just have a conversation but it's also still funny because, you know, he has funny people on. Um, but they're just often very, like, real and human conversations. And um, for me, I listen to them also to kind of get a better understanding of, you know, the, the actual kind of human side of, you know, being successful and being in the show light and haven't, haven't made it to, like, this point where millions of people know about you. And... Um, he had an yesterday I listened to an episode with Jimmy Kimmel who's also a late night show host um, and um, like one thing that's really fascinating to me is like the amount of work that they put in there because like literally every day in the week Monday through Friday Friday they have to put up a show a late night show with guests and with the script and with the skits and you know entertain people and so there's not a lot of time. I mean, like literally every day they have to put that together. And so they're every day they're just scraping it together. And to me, it was really fascinating because it seemed like Jimmy Kimmel um, is, um, you know, it, it felt a bit as if he's very lonely, you know, because like you, you like he talked about how he really enjoys like cooking, but he doesn't have the time for it, you know and um, how um, you know there's just always this pressure of creating a new show every single day and even once you created it once you like put in all the work and you create it and you created the skits and you have something funny and you have good guests and like everything went fu goes fine it like it's gone you know it's like one show that airs every night so once you put it out it's gone like you don't have a product afterwards that you can like hold on to and like show for and it just resets and you got to start from zero again and it's just this grind which seemed to really take a toll on um, on Jimmy Kimmel and he actually talked about the idea of you know stop doing what he's doing and just you know stop being a late night host and just explore other things and you know maybe cook more and you know just do what he does I mean he has enough money by now right like he's he's well off by now um, but he also shares that, you know, it's just, it's scary because it's like now you're, you know, you're one of the most influential people in, in the United States of America. Like every night you have millions of people watching your show. And so you're like, you know, you're all the way up there, you know. And then he's like, if I stop, like what's going to happen, you know, if I'm going to fall into this hole and suddenly don't know what to do with my life anymore. You know do I find another thing like it's just scary plunging into that and just you know saying you know I don't want to do this anymore but I also don't know what I want to do um, and that was just very human he also shared that um, the moment he got the late night show for the first time he was a radio host before and then um, I forgot which um, channel he's on CNBC or something, NBC, I, I have actually zero clue, um, that they gave him the show, you know, it's this massive success, you know, suddenly go, you go from a radio host to now hosting one of the biggest 
and prestigious shows in American television with hundreds of thousands and millions of watches every single night and um, he shared how the first eight months was just complete hell for him you know it was so stressful he wasn't happy he thought he was failing the channel was putting pressure on him telling him that they have a replacement for him already waiting um, in case you know as soon as he like you know trips and does something wrong and it was just hell for him so much work so much pressure no fun at all um, so many expectations but from the outside you know it's like he made it it's like it should have been the, the time of his life because now he suddenly, you know, he made it. So it's very interesting to learn about this. And um, and yeah, it also put me in a very interesting mood. Like yesterday I was just in such a great state of mind. I was so focused and just, it almost was like meditative, um, you know, for... For the bus ride when I drove to Berlin for five and a half hours and then afterwards I was just very present and it was almost blissful it was so fun I was just sitting sitting there and like thoughts were coming in and I was posting so much on Instagram yesterday like random thoughts that I had and um, it was just fun and I wrote them down and they're useful to me and um, you know it it almost like felt like It's like I want to make I want to figure out how I can facilitate kind of like that state of mind more because it was just it was fun it was just very present and focused I um, you know original thought just like came up from I don't know where and and um, and yeah and I don't know exactly what it was i mean i think it's always a combination of things you know getting full nights of sleep and fasting in the morning and you know listening to something that really um, inspired me um, with the podcast that i that i just mentioned and um, and um, you know probably the scenery change you know sitting in a bus and seeing all the scenery but yeah it was it was blissful so I want to make sure that I notice, you know, what were the outside factors that maybe, may or may, ha may have not contributed to putting me in that state of mind so I can try to replicate it. But yeah, that's it. Just wanted to share that. Um, that's it. See you tomorrow in Belarus. Tomorrow I'm going to be in Belarus. Hey, and peace out. Hard to wake up when there's no alarm to wake you up. Sitting, breathing, doing all the things I hate a lot But why now? Holy shit, I just wanna make